Hi guys, my name is Nikki Nonis, and this is my 1995 Chevy Astro van. Um, I got this van about a year ago, a uh, week before my road trip, and I built it into what it is now um, for the trip, and we'll take a look inside. The first thing we did was start by building the bed. Um, it's just like a simple frame set up with some plywood. Put this cooler here and you can slide the bed right out and then just fold over your bedding. And that we just did this because we wanted to have all the room during the day on a road trip. And then at night we could just fold it all out. And it was super quick and simple. And um, it definitely helps having the raised roof um, makes it a lot more comfy. So I bought this van um, off of someone who had a handicap um, person. And so that's why it's the raised roof. It had a wheelchair lift in it at the time and we took that out and um, definitely opened up a lot of room in here and it's, it's really roomy. We got just the fold out table there and the cooler sitting up against it. Um, made a simple center console there. Storage up top here. We added just this little shower curtain thing for the front. Um, and then we have just a net for some more storage there. And LED lights. The other ones, they melted the plastic on the front, so we had to get LED lights for that. We used this um, like dollar store um, like table topping and we just have we just used velcro to put it on on all four corners and then um, just like attached it like that and it worked well for us um, super cheap and simple and you could easily put it away we have lots of storage along the sides here um, on this side and then on the other side there's more storage and um, what we used for storage underneath here was just um, just milk crates that fit perfectly under there and then you could even stack stuff up um, on top of it. And then we had extra storage on the side so we just have our fold out tables there. Um, we could go around the back and check out the back as well. So in the back I guess is the coolest parts. Um, we added these LED lights up top here for when we're cooking or you know whatever and because it had the wheelchair lift in it there was wiring from the engine so we just added an extra battery and just these these clamps that you put on to the positive and it lights up the lights there and that was good for a road trip cooking and stuff um, and yeah you can see um, we just have more storage here. There was an electric cooler here and it fit perfectly in here with um, skimboard over top of it. Um, and also there's, you can't really see it, but there's a um, car um, cigarette lighter so you can charge your phones and stuff like that. And then we have water pull out real quick and simple. Our cooking stuff and spare gas because you never know what can happen on the road. So on my road trip I went to uh, many different places. It was about a month long and it was uh, over 10,000 kilometers. So we went, started here in Victoria. We went over to Vancouver, up, um, up through Kelowna, up to Alberta, Jasper, Banff, those kind of spots. And then we went straight down to, or over to Calgary and we actually broke down and I had to replace the transmission for this thing. So we got stuck there for three days, which was pretty nice. Um, the guys who was working on it, they really helped us out because there was a lot, lot of cars ahead of us and it was a long weekend, so we would have been stuck there for about a whole week. So um, they put us in front and got it all fixed, fixed up. And we went on our way down to Montana Wyoming, 
um, Utah, Idaho. Um, so yeah, pretty much from Alberta went straight down and kept going until Utah and then headed over to Las Vegas, then Los Angeles, and then up the coast. Uh, we hit Yosemite as well because that's a really well-known park and then through Oregon and Washington and then we went back home. With stealth camping it was actually pretty easy for us. Um, it wasn't too um, noticeable, the van, right? Like the only thing would be maybe the stickers. I have a couple minor stickers but it's a wheelchair van, um, tinted windows which was nice. A lot of the time we didn't even put up the, the curtains because we didn't really care. Um, the only time we really got um, I guess caught was in it was in Banff and we went into this park and it was closed but we didn't know that at the time and so there were no cars and our van was the only one there and the cop came it was seven in the morning so we already slept and he just said we can't do that anymore but we were already leaving um, Alberta so it was fine other than that we had no issues um, we'd park on the side of the road if there were any pullouts that were kind of big and not like right on the side of the road. It worked out great, kept it cheap. What inspired me to get a van? You know, I'm not too sure. I, I wanted to go on a road trip and since I graduated high school a couple years ago, I've always kind of wanted to go on a road trip. And I thought, why go on a road trip on a car when you could have comfy beds in the back of a van? And so I started looking for vans pretty late. Um, into it because we were going to be leaving in September and I started looking maybe like half a month before or a month before and so when you're looking for vans it's not that easy sometimes um, when you want to find something really good and so it was about a week before and I found this van it was a wheelchair van I I wasn't really thinking I was going to be buying it and then we went and looked at it and it had plenty of power lift uh, more room and I just decided to buy it. The owner was great, um, had a lot of maintenance done to it before and then we just started building it and like I'm pretty um, spontaneous and this trip was pretty spontaneous as well and I'll probably be going on more road trips. For anyone out there who is thinking about getting into the van life, um, it's pretty easy to get into it. I mean there's plenty of minivans out there there's a lot of unique setups like this, wheelchair vans or other people who have already built their setup and you can buy it from them. I mean, it's super simple setup, just a couple like two by fours or two by twos and some plywood and you can make a bed really easily. And I mean, I did this in less than a week and I went for a month. Um, definitely advise packing very tightly and very like only bring what you need and when you're out there just get creative with where you want to park and ways to save money um, one thing I did was we would later on in the trip we figured this out and we went to hotels in the morning and went for their uh, complimentary breakfast so that was our way of getting free breakfast and even like in Las Vegas we had showers in Caesars Palace because we just walked in and you know um, it's pretty easy to shower definitely bring a portable shower it's harder when it's cold out but you gotta get through it and I mean yeah the biggest thing is just be creative with what you need to get done daily activities they're a lot different in a van than you would be at home my road trip I had the I made a couple of cards and and like a magnet and so I was just trying to see if I'd get more followers just by seeing that magnet or I'd leave a bunch of cards like wherever I'd go and see if I got more followers. I got a few but it wasn't as good as I thought. If you guys want to follow what I do, um, I'm always doing different things around Victoria. Um, just follow me on Instagram at Nikki underscore Nonis or YouTube Nikki Nonis. Mm -hmm.